Well, hello there, folks. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to let you into a little, well, a little story, a little secret. It's neither. I'm just going to tell you something. I had an email through the other day. When I say an email, it was a reply to an email that I sent. And it's possibly the nicest email I've, I've received of anybody in, well, years. Certainly the nicest email I can remember of any company, a successful company, um, especially when you consider the company is, well, it's a TV company. No, they're not massive. They're not massive by any means. But it's a TV company. And executives of TV companies, you know, you never get to speak to them. Even by email, it's always um, a lackey somewhere uh, down the food chain. You know, if you, if you, and that's if you get that lucky, you often don't get replies. But I got a reply off um, somebody from a TV company the other day, someone right at the top of the food chain. Um, and the reply, and it's, uh, it was just fantastic. It was a really, really nice, really great reply. And it, and it gave me a bit of, I don't know, a bit of a feel-good factor. It reminded me of times of old. I've said that name before. Days of old, uh, you could get through to, to personalities, to media people years ago. Not, not myself. I've read about many people that got breaks from writing a letter into it or a letter into there or meeting this person and meeting that. I've often uh, told the story of Bill Shankly, for those that don't know, and I know many of you will, where you'd, you know, you'd be playing football outside his house and he'd come and play football with you, regardless of whatever your age was. You'd be walking past his house, he might be mowing his lawn and you'd start a conversation with him. You could be man or woman, he could be any age, and he'd invite you for a cup of tea. Those kind of things don't happen anymore, especially for people that are as big as old Shanks. But yeah, I sent an email to somebody about, oh, about two weeks ago on the back of a programme I'd seen. It was only a 10 minute programme, it's like a preview programme. And about two days later, I got a reply back and I couldn't believe it. And I'd like to share it with you. But at the same time, I would like to recommend this TV channel. I know many of the people that watch this channel, my channel, are probably of the same age as me, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older. Um, I'm, I think, mainly male at the moment, from what I can see, which is surprising. You males, you really, really need to um, get the, uh, the uh, wives, your partners, to also, um, I mean, I'd, I'd like the extra um, subscribers anyway to subscribe to the channel because there's probably more content on here for ladies than there is for guys, I would imagine, because a lot of what I do is gossip, TV and media, and in the main, they'd be more into that than probably yourselves. I do less sporting and whatever. Yeah. But anyway, I'm, I'm going off on tangents, I do it. I do it all the time, you know that of me already. Anyway, I'm watching the TV, no, I'm looking through my, my magazine, my weekly magazine, it's where I plan my TV for the week and the things I really, really want to see. And there's a few channels I go for. I go for your mainstream channels, ITV, BBC, BBC Two. Well, I don't. BBC meant BBC One. Your tickets read at my age. When I say BBC, you mean BBC One. Then BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five. They're the main ones. Sometimes Sky One. More often than not, Sky Atlantic. Great programming on the, on there. Yes, look at that. We look at that too. What else do we look at? Maybe Gold now and again, but only now and again. Um, depending on if it's a, a new program, there's a new release. I want to see. And if it's about the old comedies, I'll always watch that. But other than that, I don't watch as much gold as I used to. What else do I look at? That's basically it. And then I get all nostalgic. Oh, I like the old nostalgia, I've said it before. I look at BBC Four, because they have a lot from the 70s, 80s and 90s, my era. I look at Sky Arts to see what's on there. <clears throat> and I also look at Talking Pictures. Now, Talking Pictures I particularly like. And the reason I like it is they're showing stuff that nobody else shows. And they go to an era that not many are covering. 50s, 60s, 70s. And I like it. And the way the channel is run, I think they get the stuff that not many other people are using. Not many other people are showing. Not many other people have got the rights for. I think they bid low a bit of what they can afford to get films and series that we've not seen for many a year. And they bring them to our TV screens. And I've been a bit of a watcher of Talking Pictures for a good few years now, and I mean a good few years, a little bit more so lately. Don't watch it religiously, but every weekend in my magazine I look and see what's on there, and I circle what I want to see, and I watch it. To that end, I seen something last week. Right, and I've put the bins on, because you know my eyesight isn't that good. It was called Talking Pictures with Noel. Right, so Noel, who's Noel you might ask? Right, well... Talking Pictures is run by a chap called Noel. I've got his last name. I've not wrote it down. That's how thorough I am I'm on the ball. I think it's run by Noel and his daughter, who is called... I've been something away. Why did I take them off? Sarah. A lovely young lady. Now, I'm going to tell you why she's a lovely young lady. Well, I'll, I'll just tell you straight away. I won't uh, keep you in suspense. 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 
she was the lady that emailed me back because I emailed Talking Pictures last week and she emailed me back. Email me back. Dave, what are you doing? Anyway, a fantastic email it was. It was really good, as I say. It took me to a bygone era, a time when people conversated with others. You know, the um, th those that have spoke to those that have not. I mean, I've got more than most, but we'll go with me as being those that have not and said of those that have. Anyway, she's running, helping run a big conglomerate with, with her old man. So she's a very, very, very busy person. But she found the time to email me, which I loved. The personal touch, you can't beat that. Anyway, I watched Noel's programme last week. I've seen it's on this Thursday. I think it's Thursday. It might be Wednesday. I've, I've circled it off. But I've ripped it. And I can't. I don't know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. 2.20, talking pictures with Noel this Thursday. I'm going to watch it this Thursday. Anyway, seen it with that there, Noel, last week. And he's basically telling you bits about the channel. And he's telling you what they've got upcoming. And what shows that they've bought. And so on and so forth. Right. He says at the end, now folks, if there's anybody that I'd like to see anybody else, anything else, anybody that would like to recommend an old film or TV show to us, feel free to drop us an email. Can't promise we're going to get anything, but we can promise we'll look into it. And if we think it will suit the channel and we can purchase it, we can get it, it's something we'll look into. And I thought, well, I like the sound of that. I'll have a dabble at that. Well, you might remember a few weeks ago in here, I mentioned that I said... I like that talking pictures. They do a lot of old stuff. I like it. I thought, but I said, oh, I never thought. I said, why don't they try and show the old Tarzan series, the old one with Ron Ely? I used to love that. I used to come in from school probably, 9, 10, 11, 12, even 13, 14. I used to love it, me and my mates. Honestly, we all went to different high schools, different grammar schools. We all used to watch, I think it used to be on about 5 o'clock on ITV. I think it was, maybe 4, maybe 5 o'clock, probably, after Magpie or How. Remember that? You could get that on as well, though. How. That was good. That was good, old Jack Argus, I loved him, and old Fred Dynage, loved him. I think Jenny used to be on that from Magpie, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I digress, I do it a lot. So anyway, they were the kind of shows we'd watch tea time after school, you know, maybe early days Blue Peter, then we might have done Magpie, but then we went, as we got a bit older, How? How, yeah, just said that one, and Tarzan, and the other one I said, I can't remember what it is. They're the kind of things we watch. And I used to love Tarzan. And maybe it's aged and dated now, maybe it doesn't look as good. I don't know. I wouldn't know. And the reason I wouldn't know is I've not seen it for about 40 years. It's never been on. No one's ever rerun it. And I don't know why anybody doesn't. So that was the first one I suggested to know. In my email, try for Tarzan. And I said, I'll tell you what, I know you do a few Laurel Nardy things. I said, I'm fantastic they are too. You have the odd short and the odd short film and the odd full length film. I said, but I'll tell you what, years ago when I was a kid, and this happened folks, don't know if you remember this. When I was about, I would guess, 10 to 13, 10 to 14 years of age, bear in mind I'm young, young 60 now. So we're looking at 40, 35, 40 years ago. For about three Christmases on the bounce, BBC Two in the morning used to have a Laurel and Hardy film on. Might have been about quarter past eight, half past eight. It was all before nine o'clock. It started and finished before nine. Often they were the silence even, but absolutely brilliant. The one in the uh, tin they had with, with all the sawdust and everything, and the car gets cut in half. Gold dust, absolutely fantastic. Well, we loved it. We all used to make sure we got up bright and early to watch that, have our breakfast, and then up playing football or climbing trees, as you did at that age. Absolutely brilliant. And I think, why can't we get that for the kids now? The kids would love to watch that. It was every day for a fortnight over Christmas and New Year. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They might not have had it on Christmas Day. They might not have it on New Year's Day, but it was every other day for a fortnight. It might have even been three weeks. Different one every day. They might not have even done Saturdays and Sundays. It might have been a five-day week thing, but we loved it. We'd get out, we'd talk about it, we'd blah, blah. Now, bear in mind then, even though that was 40 odd years ago, they were still 20, 30 or 40 years old, because some of them were no talkies, were probably done in the 30s. I'm talking about what am I? I'm talking about eight, probably the 70s. So they were 40 year old then. We loved them. If we loved them then when they were 40 years old, why won't kids love them now for all their 80 years old? We loved them. They need to be educated. They would love them. So I mentioned that. Kids programmes. They do a lot of kids programmes. On a Saturday morning on Talking Pictures, I say they do a kiddie section for like four or five hours. A bit like you might get at the pictures. You know, when you used to go to Flicks on a Saturday morning, kids club, you'd get a couple of shorts on and maybe a film on. They do all that. Some of the things they've got on I've seen before, like they've had maybe a Popeyes, maybe a Spider-Man, maybe a Radar Boy, maybe Stingray, that kind of stuff. They have all that on. And I said, well, try for the young ones. I said, when we were kids, I said, I know we love the banana splits. And the other one, the other one, the other one, I can't think what it's called. Double Deckers. 
they were good. One of them, I think, the Banana Splits, was it that the one that had Journey to the Centre of the Earth and, and Shazam on it? Or Shazam, Shazam, can't remember what it is, but you'll know. They've done films about it since. There were a couple of things I suggested, but mainly the Tarzan. Gilligan's Island, I knew I loved that when I was really young, but I don't remember it at all. I thought, but I bet it's still funny I mentioned that. You to love the Batmans with Adam West. I don't think they'd be able to get them because I've read about talking pictures since and how they put the programmes together and how it works. So anyway, put these little things in an email. Boom, sent it off. Right, in the meantime... Um, no, not in the meantime. Gets the reply back from Sarah. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic reply. Honestly, really nice, really. And I thought, I'm not letting that go. I'm just not letting that go. I've got to tell this lady whoever she is. Me not knowing at the time that she's, you know... Boss's uh, daughter. I didn't know that at all. I didn't know she was related. I didn't know she was so high up there. But I thought, no, I'm not letting that go. I thought, I've got to tell her how nice that email is because when you get something that really pleases you and when someone's gone that extra mile for you that you don't expect to, I thought, mail them back and let them know. Anyway, I said, thank you for your email. Blah, 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 blah. Happened me a bit. Took me back to times of old where people used to actually have time for people. You know, people are higher up, blah, blah, and whatever else. So I sent it back. Then I think I'm researching, then I seen, I think if I remember rightly, who she was. When I'm looking at talking pictures, there's a, um, a little article there from the Daily Mail. I say a little article, an article from about three years ago. I think it just said they've just got the three, three millionth watcher, or they might get three million watches a week. It said something, I can't remember what it was, but I read it, I read it with interest. And it said, her dad and herself, um, her dad's early 70s now, when he saws his pictures, he looks for old pictures, that nobody is bidding for now, nobody's watching, they're not on any TV channels, ideally with stars in, but the lesser known films that nobody's interested in, and he bids on them and buys the rights to show them. And he's running the old thing, the old shooting match from a garden shed. And I thought, oh, fantastic. TV channel from a garden shed. I thought, this is brilliant. Talk about, what's the word? I can't think, uh, I can't think it'll come to me. It doesn't matter. It's obviously something that he does that he loves. He's got a passion for it. An absolute passion. And it shows. And there's a picture of the garden shed and there's paperwork, reels everywhere. It's absolutely full. I would imagine if you put a match to it, it'd burn for about the next six weeks. There's that much stuff in there. Absolutely. Not that I want anyone to put a match to it. Don't knock that off uh, the TV screens. I want to be watching talking pictures for many a year. Anyway, labour of love. That's what I was going back to before. It's a labour of love. See, I told you I'd go all over the place. But you know, folks, I won't re-record. I will not re-record. It's part of what I do. So anyway, I thought, absolutely brilliant operation, this. Absolutely brilliant. They need even more viewers. And to that end, I know I'm only a small channel at the moment, but I'm going to grow. And I've decided now, on a monthly basis, I'm going to mention talking pictures on here. And I'm going to do it because I like it. And I like people who've got a passion. And I like people who, who put everything into it and who it, it matters to. Because they're doing it for people like me. They're doing it for us. They're doing it for us. And it's a great station. So if you get the chance, folks, visit it now and again. Or if you get those weekly magazines with your paper on a Saturday or Sunday, have a look for talking pictures from Sunday through to, to, to Friday, Saturday. See what's on there. If there's anything you like, watch it. Now, before I go, let me give you a few tips of things that I've watched on there that I've loved. Things that you wouldn't expect to see. Well, firstly, the series I've enjoyed the most, this isn't really a tip. I'm just telling you something about me. Why? I don't know, but I am. The one I've loved the most that they do on there, really, really, really gentle comedy, and I mean gentle, for the love of Ada. I used to love it. When I was a kid, this is the story, I used to watch it with my uncle. My uncle liked old Wilfred Pickles, remembered him from his radio days. He was a massive, massive star in Great Britain during the war, and probably even prior to the war. Massive radio star. Irene Angle was a big star as well, but Wilfred Pickles, ginormous. Old Jack was in there, Jack Smithers, you know him, love thy neighbour. Never swore once in it, never said anything about um, blacks or anything like that, because deep down he's not racist, he was just acting. Nice fella. He was in it. Was it Barbara Flynn? I can't remember. May, no, maybe I've got the name wrong. I know who it is, so I can see her now. She was in it. Well, she wasn't in it, if I've got the name wrong, but I knew who was in it. I just can't think of a name. Just a brilliant, brilliant show. Absolutely loved it. And it took me back, as I say, to watching it with my uncle. The sad thing is, I'm having my hair cut one Thursday or Friday night at home in the very, very, very early days of Sky. And I mean very early. Before it was Sky, before it was God knows what. We used to pay for it then, we had it even then. I'm in my front room having my hair cut. 
watching for the love of Ada, gets a phone call through. You better get to the hospital, Dave. Your Uncle Albert, that's my uncle I used to watch it with, he's had a heart attack and he's not well. I got there and he'd already died. Um, loved him. Closest probably relative I've ever had. Used to take, he was the guy that took me to watch The Wire, The Warrington, The Rugby League from being four or five. Loved him. Went everywhere with him. All over the North West watching it. Fantastic man. Fantastic man. Anyway, he died whilst I was watching that. Um, and I went in and unfortunately when I got there he was, he was gone. I'd have been probably 20, 22. No, I'd have been older. 25, 26 at the time. Maybe a bit older than that. He died young. Heart out, bump straight away. Proper way to go. Why I'm digressing, I don't know. I'm bringing it down all the time. I don't mean to. I don't mean to at all. So anyway, <clears throat> that reminds me of that for both reasons. But whenever I watch it, I don't watch it uh, with sadness because he died whilst I was watching it. I watch it with happiness because I used to watch it with him. And he used to tell me about the actors in there because he knew more about them than I did. So I like that. That's the best series I've, I've seen, although I've seen it two or three times. There's other things on there that I've seen that I've liked. But a couple of things I really like that aren't series, and, and if you ever get a chance to watch them, watch them. They've got some films, sometimes it's silent, and they show things from different eras, like the 50s, 60s, 70s. It might say, a day in London in the 60s, and it just shows people milling around the shops and going to work on, on a Monday morning in London, and it's packed, and there's people going here, there, and everywhere. There's one where it shows it in Manchester, I think around Old Trafford, that kind of area. You know, because they've got all the docks there and all the, the big buildings that are containing ads and stuff. And it shows people going to work, getting off trams and so on and so forth. The one that I particularly loved, I thought it was brilliant. It's a day out fishing. And now I don't know if the fishermen come from Sheffield or Yorkshire. In fact, it might be Yorkshire, it might be like your Barnsley. And it might all be steel workers or miners. Could be miners. Could be miners, I think it could be. They've got their own fishing club, the old uh, fishing club there. And it's sort of a Sunday morning, I think. And they're all getting on the train. They're all meeting at the station with the rods up and whatever else. All at the station talking fishing. Then they're all on the train and they've got the butties and whatever else. And then they go fishing and it shows them around a big lake or whatever, a big pond. They're all doing the fishing there. And they're having a comp and they're presenting trophies and coming back on the Loved it. Probably 20 minutes longer. I just absolutely loved it. Why? I don't. Well, I do know. I'm all about reminiscing. I'm a... I'm a bit of a, what's the word? I get word, I can't, I can't think. A bit of a romantic, a bit of a romantic. And I love days of old, and I love seeing that kind of stuff. And just brilliant. And as I say, that's the kind of channel it is. It does things that nobody else is doing. If you get the chance, viewers, have a look at it from time to time. Just pop in. They deserve the, the people viewing. But if, if, like me, you've got a minute on your hands, and you get one of these magazines with your um, Sunday, Saturday Sunday papers, have a look at talking pictures. Make it a stop every week. Just look, see what's on in the week. There's things on there that just might surprise you. There really is. I mean, I, for one, as I say, hope they get old Ron Ely on their Taz, and I do, honestly. But there's got to be things they can pick up, I'm sure. Um, but they're picking up loads on a weekly basis. They get a new show here, a new show there. And they show every episode of these shows. And they've got some great films on there. I don't watch enough films on there. I'm going to. I've seen a few Lord Hardy things and a few other bits and pieces. But I know they're going to get more. They're doing really well. They deserve to do really well. The good people behind it. I've got one, because I'm going to let them know I've done this little uh, video for them. They might not be interested, but I'm going to let them know it anyway. And I've got one suggestion for them. I don't know that they can do this. I think it's probably out of their hands. It's probably in the hands of Sky. You know when you're watching something, no, on the, the, their TV on Sky. I watched it, you on Sky. I think you're on all the platforms, Virgin and all those other things. I think anybody can see you, and I know you're free to air, which is fantastic. That's the other thing, folks. It's free to air, so you're not paying subscriptions to watch the old oh, no, Noel there, I don't think, and to watch his programmes, which is brilliant. I think it's free to air. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, but there's one thing I do know, if you can, and I don't know that you can. As I say, I think it's down to, to Sky or uh, whatever platform you're with. You can watch many programmes, as you know. I can watch This Morning, This Morning. I'm not saying I want to, but I can. Or GMB, the news thing. Or, or the 6 o'clock news on BBC. I can watch any of those. I can tape them, and immediately it will series link them. If I don't want to series link it, I take that off. Can you do that with any of your programmes, Noel? I'm not sure that you can. But it'd be a benefit if you could, especially that with you. If you're on there every Wednesday or Thursday at sort of 2 o'clock, 2.20, even me somebody that watches your channel looks for things, you might have been on that doing that. I've seen you last week doing that, Noel, which is why I sent the email. 
you might have been doing that for the last five or six weeks or three or four months and I've missed it. I've noticed it's on this week. I almost forgot it, but I've noticed it. I've circled it and I've taped it today. So it will, when it's on tomorrow or Thursday, I'll be watching it. Absolutely no doubt. But the odd week, even I might miss it. I might miss it. But if you can get it so as Sky or whoever you provide us, whoever you're with, series link things, that would be much better, especially if that programme of yours. If only that one programme of yours, if that's the only programme you get a series link on, I think that would be a good idea. Because that's the programme where on a weekly basis you're letting the public know what you've got coming out next week or the week after or the week after that. And the public love new shows, new series. If you could series link that, I think it'd be great. But if you can, you can't. It's life. Nothing you can do about that. But anyway, no. Keep up the good work. And again, I forgot it was it Sarah. I think it was. And Sarah. Thanks for the email, lovey. Keep up the good work, both of you. I think you're doing a grand job. A really grand job. And you deserve to succeed. You really do.